guys, welcome back. I'm sh um Hey guys, welcome back. Hey guys, welcome back. I thought I'd shoot something a little bit different today. Like many of you, I thought quarantine was only going to last 2 weeks when I was told that I was going to work from home for 2 weeks. I've actually just been informed a few days ago that we are not required to go back until January of 2021. I'm a little bit bummed about that, but I did buy a lot of stuff in the beginning of quarantine thinking I would get to wear this later. But in reality, I really don't wear like my work clothes at home. Like many of you, I prefer wearing sweatpants, sweatshirts, anything that's kind of loungy because I live in a small apartment and I end up doing the dishes like three times a day now instead of at the end of the day like I used to when I would come home from work with my Tupperware. I work at my little dining table, so it, I just don't feel like dressing up or wearing anything that's too high maintenance, especially if I have to clean throughout the day. It just doesn't feel practical. So there are some things that I bought in the beginning when I thought I was going to get to wear them soon. And some that I bought just because they were on sale, they were an impulse purchase. They still have the tags on, so that just to prove that I haven't worn them yet, I'm gonna go through two shirts, two dresses, a hat that's actually right behind me, and a like a cape scarf thing that's definitely not good for the weather right now. It's actually gonna be like 94 degrees today with a heat index of 98 degrees. So I'm trying not to go outside today. I'm trying to stay cool. That cape shawl, poncho, whatever you want to call it that I bought was during a sale. Definitely not right for the season, but I just bought it because I thought it was so cool that I will get to wear soon because like all New England summers, they're really short. So I think I'll get a lot of use out of it later when it actually is fall and winter and spring. I'm just going to start showing you the clothes. Also, excuse my wrinkly shirt. I figured I'd be taking this on and off to try on the clothes. So got this on sale as well. So the shirt that I'm currently wearing is Madewell. I got this in the same order as this other Madewell shirt that's an oversized boyfriend long sleeve. This is a much thinner material. As I said, the tag is still on. I just wanted like a couple white shirts for the summer. I've gotten a lot of use out of this one. This one is a little bit more sheer, so I haven't really found the right time to wear it yet. I think I'll wear it soon. I just get nervous about wearing white and having to do chores. I always think I'm going to get it dirty. This is an oversized shirt. I got it on sale, so I don't know if it's still on the website, but if it is, I'll link it. Actually, Madewell's having an amazing sale right now. I actually have sales all the time. Something like this is like a staple in their stores and online, so I'm sure you'd be able to find something similar. So this is the Madewell oversized boyfriend shirt. I tucked it in. Bit of a struggle because things are a little bit tight right now. But if you untuck it, you can see that it's got a high-low hem which I think is pretty cool. I like that little slit here. I think this is a good basic to have. I like that it's longer because I have a cropped version, but when I wear a sweater over it, it doesn't show. So I like that this, if I wore a sweater, it would cut off over here and you can still see the shirt. I like the material. It's really lightweight. I think it's a linen blend, which I'm always a fan of. The second shirt that I have is a little bit fancier. This I definitely bought in like the first week of quarantine. It was during a sale as well, but it's from Redone. I just love this color. This is a silk shirt. It has that little like tie in the front that you can wear open like this, or you can wear as a bow, however you want to style it, or it, you can take it off, it's detachable. This one I already got dirty without even wearing it. Again, the tag is still here because I was so excited to try this on that I think I put it on after I just moisturized which was a mistake on my part. I should have known better. So I just put it on, got a couple stains around the neck, like the collar, the neckline, and I think one by the torso. But I haven't worn it yet because I'm afraid of getting it dirty, but I think maybe I'll wear it for the fall. I just, I just love this color so much. I've tried it on with the jeans that I'm actually wearing right now, tucked in, and it looks amazing. I think, yeah, I think I just have to commit to wearing this one day or even outside. I'll find a reason to go outside now that things in Boston are starting to reopen a little bit. It'll make like a, maybe I'll go by myself for a drink in this shirt or something like that just to be able to wear it. But I just love this color. I love the material. Hopefully I will get to wear on a more regular basis one day when this is all over. All right, so this is the redone shirt. I just love this color so much. I just tucked them into the jeans that I had on just now, the 
Levi's, the Levi wedgies. It's like this from the back. I like the little puff sleeve here. It's not something that I normally wear. And let me see if I can do this with one hand. But you could wear the tie like this. I like both ways to be honest with tied and untied. Because the jeans are high rise and these ties fall below that, I think it creates a longer, leaner look. Also, I thought I'd show you what it looks like untucked. The shirt definitely needs to be steamed. Yeah, I just love the color so much and the material is so nice. It's such like a nice quality silk. All right, this is another redone number. It's kind of the same sort of style as the shirt, except it's in a different color because it has this tie here that again you can wear as is or you can detach or wear as a bow but this is a dress it's like a little mini dress i also got it on sale tags are still on it has like this mini croissant print which i thought was really cute and i thought i'd be again wearing it more i thought i'd be wearing it to the office and i was so excited to get this i think again it's just one of those things that i have to commit to just bringing it out all the time one day and just wearing it. Take the tag off, I don't know. It's just such a cute dress and I feel bad that it's just sitting in my closet collecting dust, but I'm not selling it. I know I'm gonna wear it someday. I love this dress so much. It has that like cool 70s vibe to it with the puff shoulders and the little flare. These are snap buttons, which I think is pretty cool. It's a little bit different from your traditional buttons. Snaps down all the way here, there's some hidden buttons so that you can sort of climb into it, if that makes sense, so you don't have to put it over your head, which is kind of nice if you're wearing makeup like I am now and you don't want to ruin the dress. But I just think it's so cute. And again, these ties are removable, but it just has such great movement. I don't think I would just wear this around the apartment, but I just think it's so cute. I think I could have sized down. I ordered a small. I thought I would want a little bit longer, but I think with the sleeves, I could have gotten an X small. I think this is fine. I think um, it fits really well and it's really comfortable. The next dress that I have is from Madewell. It is this little polka dot midi dress. I don't know if I can even fit all of that into frame. It kind of looks like the Zara, like the dress. I don't remember what it looks like, but I know it's like white and polka dots and long sleeve, but this looks, I think this is very similar, but I got this on sale for like 30 bucks on Madewell. So this is pretty new. I think I got it just because it was it was such a great deal that I decided to get it anyway. There are some items throughout quarantine that I've gotten more recently that I have worn that I'm not showing here, but this dress I, when I tried it on is really comfortable. It doesn't really have any zippers or anything like that. Everything's elasticated and it is machine washable. I haven't tried it out yet because again, the tags are still on. So I think I'm gonna wear it when it's not super hot out. It's been super hot, super humid, so I haven't been feeling the urge to wear this dress outside and sweat in it and because it's white I just don't want to damage it with makeup not that I'm wearing a ton of makeup these days but it just feels weird to wear a mask and get dressed up you know because I I'm not I'm honestly not going anywhere I'm still sort of pretty much in isolation I maybe grabbed drinks once with a friend and it was it was really precious I really enjoyed it yeah I'm really excited to be able to wear this at some point this is just really nice and flowy it's actually like the perfect summer dress because of the color and the movement that it gives once you put it on all right I've built up quite a mess behind me but ignore that yeah this kind of looks like that Zara dress if you know what I'm talking about but I like the f movement um it is oversized but that's because it doesn't have any zip closures but I, I appreciate that for the summertime because I don't like wearing tight things in the summer that's the same reason why I don't actually own any jean shorts when I did I felt miserable in them because they were too tight and too thick and I hate that so there's only one closure in the back and then everything's really el um, elasticated like this there like there's this much room it, it gives a lot of room so if you don't like that look maybe this dress isn't for you but I don't mind it I like that there's a lot of movement with it I imagine in the wind it'll look really beautiful and I like the color it's just a really good summertime dress when it is not 98 degrees out I think I'll wear it you know on a day when it's like 70s maybe 80s maybe my mom and I will go out to dinner one day finally I haven't really had dinner with her at all during quarantine we've gone on little walks we might do dinner soon and this might be the perfect time to whip this out i like this i just think this is a fun dress if you couldn't tell i really like swishing around in it 
I think of all the items, I'm most excited to be able to wear this. This is from Lauren Manoogian. I hope I'm saying that right. Lauren Manoogian. It's kind of like a cape scarf kind of thing, like an oversized scarf that you wear. It's It has this like a little neckline in the back, so you are meant to wear it around over your shoulders. When I saw it online, I just thought it looked so cool. It was during the Net-A-Porter sale. I think they're sold out now, but if I find it, I'll link it, try to find a dupe, but I just thought this was so cool. On the model, it looked not as long. I'm only 5'3", so I'm obviously a bit shorter. Well, a lot shorter. So this hangs a little bit longer, but I don't mind it. I think it'll be really cool um, with the hat behind me that I'm going to mention in a moment. This is made of wool. This will be perfect for the fall. The way that they stylized it on the website, if I can find a photo, they had like a tan blazer with white jeans and tan loafers. Aside from the tan blazer, I already have most of those items. This I'm really excited about. Yeah, the tag's on here too. Here's the tag. This one I'm... Oh, this one's so precious. I can't wait. I turned off the AC so I won't keep this on for long. This is such a sturdy piece of material. Look at this, it's so cool. So I just styled it with that Madewell shirt with the jeans and it's it's just amazing. Like, I think the material is amazing. I love the fringes. Like you can tell this is a quality piece. I have a handbag from her that's like the knitted handbag. It's like a sweater material. It's just so cool. I think her pieces are awesome. Laura Manoogian is a designer that I discovered recently, but I love her stuff. I think they're so interesting. The way that she uses knitwear in her bags and even like a piece like this, it just feels very, it feels like slow fashion. And I like that. I like that these pieces don't feel like they're just being churned out constantly. And I like that they're all neutral tones, which I'm all for. I think a lot of her stuff are very environmentally conscious, even from like the dye that she uses. That's why they're all neutral toned. As I mentioned before, it is a bit long in the back. I think if I wear boots, it'll be okay. I just think it's such an awesome piece. This has such nice movement. I feel like such a desert queen, even though I'm nowhere near a desert, but this will be so handy and so cozy come fall time. Okay, I thought this completed the look. So the color I think is a little bit different, but I am actually looking at another hat. Who am I? But this I think is so cool with a hat. I feel like I'm ready to, to go on a road trip somewhere. I mean, I'm not going anywhere, but I think this makes me feel like I'm going somewhere else. I don't know. It just looks so cool. I love this look so much. All right, last one is this hat right here that I've hung up on a wall. This I bought in conjunction with this hat. It's kind of out of frame. I'll show it. They're both from Lack of Color. This is the Sunny Boat, Sunny Fray Boater. Gosh, I don't even remember the name. But this one I bought because I saw it in an Instagram ad. I know. I got targeted by the ad and I fell for it. But I thought it looked so cool and they had a sale like two weeks ago. So, or maybe three weeks ago. So I jumped on board and got this. I'm not really a huge hat person. So I think I ordered sizes that were too large for me. So that's what happened with this hat. Definitely too large for me. And this one I took the tag off. But I still haven't worn it outside yet. But I had to take the tags off to insert the hat tape because this was too large for me. I thought I should size up a little bit so that I can always make it a little bit smaller versus getting a half that's too small. Both in the size large, but this one I think it definitely could have sized down to a medium. But this is the Zulu hat, I believe. I'll bend down a little bit. I just thought it looked so cute. Like, I don't wear a ton of hats, but I want to. I think this with the with that Laura Manoogian scarf will be really, really cool. This I think is too hot to wear right now because it's 100% wool. This will be perfect for fall though. Anyway, I hope I hope you guys enjoyed watching that. I can't make any promises not to buy more stuff during quarantine, but I think my focus will shift to more loungewear because I'm going to be in quarantine for quite some time for at least another, what is it, five months, maybe even longer. But I think my focus will shift more to like loungewear, maybe PJ sets, I don't know. Maybe I'll look into one of those cashmere top and bottom sets. I really want one, but it feels really high maintenance. But I think now that I know I'm gonna be in for the long haul, 
I might as well invest in something that I'm gonna wear all the time because I haven't really worn a ton of jeans during the season. I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye!